Artist is continuing her fight with the city to keep her sculpture on display in an Upper Valley roundabout. The sculpture was removed just days after it was put up. The city is saying the artwork was not structurally sound. Yesterday, city council voted to settle with artist Margarita Cabrera and wants to return the sculpture to Cabrera. In return, she has to return the money she was already paid. ABC 7's Jerry Nahara picks up the story. I want to be very clear that since March 13th, I have been in conversation with the city to try to find a solution for this issue. A firm statement from artist Margarita Cabrera. This after her sculpture was taken down less than a week after it was put up on display in this roundabout on Country Club Road. The piece called Uplift took three years to make. It's supposed to represent birds taking off a sort of rise from the ashes. But instead of ashes, Cabrera used gun fragments. The city saying it made it structurally unsound and removed it. On Tuesday, city council voted to settle pending litigation with Cabrera. They're not settling with me. I mean, they, there's no concrete proposal from the city. They have offered to return the piece to me if I pay them money. That is not acceptable. That is not a settlement I'm willing to accept. Cabrera tells ABC7 the city unlawfully took the artwork down and kept it. The sculpture belongs to me. It has always belonged to me. The sculpture only gets deeded over to the city after final ex inspection and approval of, this, of the sculpture in its site. That has never happened. City officials sent us this statement. The city of El Paso continues to be open to a resolution with Ms. Cabrera. The legal department is evaluating our legal options in light of Ms. Cabrera's attempt to unilaterally cancel the contract with the city. One of those includes transferring the work to Ms. Cabrera in exchange for a full refund of the city's investment. Ideally, the way that I would like to see things happen is for this piece to be reinstalled, to be re-erected so that it can truly do what it's meant to do, which is to honor this community, to honor our history, and honor all the people that were involved in this effort. Jerry Nahira, ABC7. The city has also proposed putting the sculpture in another location, but Cabrera says that idea will not move forward unless she sees the condition of the piece. She hasn't been able to see it since the day it was taken down in March. Some tension.